Hello and welcome to our daily devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Adam Moline. Today we're going to take a look at the Gospel lesson appointed for the 18th Sunday after Trinity, which comes to us from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 22. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them a question, saying, What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. He said to them, How is it then that David in the Spirit calls him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If David calls him Lord, how is he his son? And no one was able to answer him a word, nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him, any more questions. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Dear friends in Christ, as Lutherans, we firmly believe in two main teachings that are throughout all of the scripture, the law and the gospel. The law is a word from God. It is good. It points out what God desires of us in our life. And at the same time, the law is so good that we are unable within ourselves to live up to it. For that reason, we always kind of summarize the law as a thing that shows our sin. It points out where we fall short according to God's word. We also believe the gospel, which points us always to Jesus Christ, crucified and risen to take away the sin that the law points out our failures, our weaknesses, our shortcomings, our gross negligence, and more. Jesus bleeds and dies so that we might have eternal life and forgiveness by what he has done. That's the gospel. Law and gospel. All of scripture contains these two teachings. And in our gospel lesson for today, Jesus shows his mastery of both of those items. He is asked a question by a lawyer, lawyers who study the law. It is a law-centered question. Which commandment is most important? Which commandment is best or first and foremost among all the commandments? Jesus knows his law. He takes all of the law that there is in Scripture and summarizes it in two small points. Love towards God and love towards neighbor. In fact, if you want to be completely honest, Jesus summarizes all of the law in the word love. And yet, as we examine ourselves, we find that we don't love the way that we should. We fall short. There's people we don't love at all. In fact, sometimes the things that we do love are sinful and wrong and increase our guilt and shame and our weaknesses. After Jesus points out the law is fulfilled in love and summarizes the entire law in that word, he turns the table on those lawyers and Pharisees, and he asks them a question about the gospel. Whose son is the Christ? After all, David says, the Lord said to my Lord, is the Christ David's Lord or son? It's a question about the Savior, the Messiah. Do you know as much about the Messiah as you know about the law? The Pharisees don't know how to answer the question. They seem to care very little about the gospel. They don't seem to understand 
God as a result. Dear friends in Christ, you understand the law. It shows that you're a sinner. Understand the gospel also. Jesus is the son of David, descended many generations after David, of course, but he is descended from King David. At the same time, he is God, uncreated, existing always. This God who has always existed takes on the human flesh of the son of David. He becomes man. He lives a perfect life, fulfilling the law, loving God completely, and loving every neighbor, even the Pharisees in our gospel lesson, by trying to point them to himself. And what's more, Jesus shows the gospel in his own life by going to the cross bleeding, dying, to forgive all sin. Do you understand what's going on? Jesus is the master of the law, and Jesus is the master of the gospel, and he brings them both and sets them before us in this gospel text for today. Dear Christian, study the law. Apply it to your life. Study the gospel. Understand that God saves you. Love both of these doctrines. Teach them to your children. And know that it is by Christ's work that you are saved from sin. In the name of Jesus, amen.